Good morning, it's Ecology Matters again, I'm Pat I'm Jeanette And it's a very wet and cold and chilly day Cold noses, cold fingers, shriveled fingers actually Wet fingers Wet fingers and cold toes Let's see what we can find on this very exciting In an ideal world, I'd be sat back in the office, but I'm not. I'm here today in a garden in Rochdale. We've been asked to come and have a look at a number of trees to see if there's any potential for bats. It's not the best conditions to do the surveys, but you know, sometimes you just have to get on with the job. It's ideal in that all the leaves are off the trees, so we can see right up to the top. It's not ideal because it's raining. We're gonna make the best of it. I've got one feature that I've spotted already. Cavity in this branch. Just look at the amount of water pouring down this tree. It's like being in a, a temperate rainforest. Impossible, of course, because where we are in Greater Manchester. However, <laughs> it's certainly got enough water to fulfil that requirement. Well, there's certainly some fab trees on this site. Really lovely old gnarly specimens of sycamore and lime. There's even an oak actually here. It's of course it's always tempting to look over the other side of the fence that's outside the boundary today but let's let's just sneak a peek while we're here and see what's going on over there as well and quite well wooded interesting sort of environment for us to uh, to work next to our, our plot is part of a much bigger well sort of wooded area okay so Jeanette's just getting the endoscope out of the car we found a few cavities in the trees it wants to have a look at Quick check to make sure everything's functioning properly, batteries, screens working, and then we're off to see if there's anything in the basal cavity and then the knot hole. So having to change the way we do our survey today because the weather conditions are so bad. <laughs> we've been round once, we've checked all the trees. Now we're coming back to those that we found some features at. This is a basal cavity. It goes quite a long way up. So I've got the underscope. I'm gonna have a look now and see if there's anything inside. Well, that's been really careful putting the endoscope in, checking it, making sure that there's no nothing that's going to hit with the endoscope as it goes in. Fantastic tool for looking at these out of reach, out of sight places. Also advantageous, it's got a, a photography and video function on it so that we can record evidence and images. Sometimes even look at those back at the office and make sure that what we're looking at is what we think we saw out in the field. Okay, it doesn't actually go quite as far as I thought, so uh, that's good news. Uh, no issues with this one. No bats in this one, but it is full of slugs. Drip, drip, drip. It's almost incessant today, the amount of water that's coming down, running off the trees, pouring all over our heads making our job really difficult however it is quite an interesting situation to be here under these conditions it gives you an appreciation of, of different sorts of uh, environmental factors that we don't always work and we don't always see the the full sort of impact of these on the environment so it's always useful to come out under these different conditions so we've come back to this mature horse chestnut tree. Uh, we noticed it earlier on. It's worth a second look. We've been looking in uh, tree cavities, but one other potential roost feature that bats often use is peeled bark or bark plates. You can see this has already fallen off. If you can imagine that was put on the tree and there's a suitable gap behind it, it makes a perfect place for bats to make use of. I'm gonna use the endoscope again and just check a couple of these and make sure there's nothing here before we move on. And the very last part of the survey. 
because there needs to be an end to this so we can go home well actually have a hot chocolate go to the toilet and then go home and have some lunch here's Jeanette filling the notes in here we go making a, a careful note of all the findings before we leave site just in case we've forgotten anything we can always go back and check for the last minute just in case